the biggest reward of this role is the opportunity to interact more closely with the farmers with the and consumers of our seeds, um, and also the chance to train new graduate students. Um, I was an agronomist by training, um, studied in the University of Rosario, that it's essentially in the heartland of where you grow soybeans in, in the country. After graduation, I had the opportunity to come and work with Dr. Chen towards my master's. We have um, a few different projects funded by the board, development of soybean varieties, um, and I feel that that's, that's my home. Court. That, that's what I love to do and that's what I've, I've successfully done um, in the private sector. The program we have a very good amount of group 5 materials. There's a, a growing need for group 4 materials um, and we're putting all of our efforts into that. So breeding, it's a long-term commitment um, but we need quick results too and, and we're looking at opportunities of using winter nurseries but yeah, they will go to South America and there is an opportunity also to send materials to um, Costa Rica. And then the other bigger component of the research that the, the board funds for us is germplasm enhancement. Breeding is essentially it's the art of crossing two good materials and get something better, right? Um, the problem is, by definition, you are making your source of materials narrower and narrower um, and if you don't have a little diversity to choose from your results are going to be limited. There is also funds for um, flood research. When you have a lot of water in the field the plants need, need more oxygen um, and what we're trying to do is prolong the period of time the plants can survive with standing water. we're looking at our subtle differences then between what makes a winner from a not. We need to use all the DNA information to help us guide the decision of what, what advances and what doesn't advance. Um, having this DNA information, my perspective is it does not replace the field, but hopefully by using them both together, we can complement and get to more informed decision on what to advance. We have all the pedigrees tracing back to 19, 1973. The pedigree information, it's critical. And, and right now it's underutilized and I would really love to, to use it a lot more. Um, so again, if, if you ask me what the program I hope to look like three years from now, I'd say a lot more molecular um, genomic information being implemented into the development of varieties a lot more pedigree information being implemented into the development of varieties. And a lot of hours in the field looking at that material. Uh, I guess that, that's the worst thing you could do is close your eyes and trust just a computer or just one of these machines. You need to be out there and, and seeing what the farmer sees.